Hi there, George Murley here at Footwork Podiatric Laboratory. Today I'm talking with podiatrist Sam Turner, who's part of the Footwork team. Sam, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me, George. Sam, when did you join the Footwork team? So I came on board in November last year on a part-time basis, okay. um, but then moved to a full-time role okay. earlier this year. Yep, fantastic. So. Now you've got a unique background because you're not just a podiatrist, you're also, you've also studied prosthetics and orthotics, yep. and you did that for some time before joining um, Footwork. Tell, tell us all about that, including, you know, you obviously studied both um, university programs, yeah. so tell us all about that. So it was a bit different. I actually went down the orthotics stream with my first year out, yep. um, and I worked in, well, high-level spinal care up in Sydney. Okay. So doing spinal braces yeah, and such. Yeah. But then I came back to Melbourne and worked for a foot and ankle surgeon. Right. Who's that? That was Will Edwards. Okay. Yep. And Paul Retchko, um, who taught me everything about foot orthotics that they Fantastic. Which was an eye-opening experience, and that got yeah. me along the lower limb type path. Yes. Um, so from there, yeah. I then jumped over the ditch to New Zealand yeah. and spent yeah. a year over in NZ working okay. in the Waikato region. Ah, right. Yeah, so. Okay. And then how did that lead into podiatry? So where did we go from there? Well, I was fortunate enough to work with um, three podiatrists, yeah. one private and two public, yeah. um, one running a high-risk foot clinic. Okay. And they said, well, you might as well go give it a go. Yeah. And I was starting to find that I was starting to do, well, the most I could do with yeah. just P&O. So yeah. the logical choice was to go back to uni and study. Okay. So then you went back to La Trobe, was it? Yes, went yeah. back to La Trobe. So both degrees are at La Trobe. Yeah. And it was an eye-opening experience. Like, yeah. well, first time, I was probably not ready to go back go to study after year 12, yeah. but this time I was chomping out the bit to be out there. To go and do podiatry. Yeah. So how many years of orthotics, prosthetics and orthotics before you went in back to podiatry? So I was three years out and okay. continued to work whilst doing podiatry as an orthotist. Yeah. So three Fantastic. years full time. Yeah. yeah, and then again during your podiatry yeah, study as well. So, so what's that, a total of like seven years? That's seven and a half orthotics. years. Fantastic. So then you finished podiatry, okay. joined the footwork team yep. after some time, yep. and uh, and mainly, what's your role at footwork? So my role is looking after the EVA devices, obviously having that experience with EVAs. Yes. Um, so I've come through and I'm working very closely with art at the moment, yep. which is a lot of fun. So a lot of the work that will come through will come through myself and him. Fantastic. So a lot of the finishing with the, with yeah. the EVA yes. devices, a lot of the grinding, which is such an yeah. important role because as we all know, mm -hmm. EVA devices are probably the most challenging mm -hmm. to fit into the shoes. And so they you've are. got a really important role. So there's a couple of things. EVA devices don't necessarily have to be the most challenging to fit into shoes. Um, what I'm finding is they're quite yeah. similar to poly. It just yeah. comes to that when don't know much about them as podiatrists. Yes. But there's a couple of easy ways that you can always get around that. Yeah, tell, have you got some tips for it? Because that was one of the things I was wanting to ask today yeah. is whether you've got some tips about fitting, um, prescription and fitting. So the big thing is most podiatrists will say EVAs are too bulky. Yeah. And that is quite common with EVA devices of the past. Yes. But now at the moment between Art and I, we're working down to get them to about two to three mil yeah. thick as a standard rule. So Fantastic. obviously through there, you've already got the bulk down yeah. with the depth. Yes. But the other thing is, is coming back to top covers. Yes. We're quite happy to go through with pour on Luna Soft. And again, that will add three to four mils worth of bulk. Yes. However, with an EVA device, you can always have a look at using no cover. Yes. Because you're getting that softness and the um, shock attenuation through the material. Yep. Or using a thinner top cover yes. if you want that Okay. Shock attenuation. Yeah. yeah, so sometimes top covers are probably used mm -hmm. unnecessarily. So, yeah. now how's the, how's the role going? So you're working closely with Art. Um, Art's obviously been on the grinders and, and things forever. Um, you're doing all the finishing and now you've sort of stepped into that space. How, how have you found that? Uh, at first, it was eye-opening to be honest. Um, just watching Art behind the machine and watching how he can actually manufacture a device, yeah. then trying to replicate that. The, yeah. the big thing Art was getting on to me about was, can you see what I can see? Yeah. Obviously, with a gentleman of 25 years experience grinding, initially yeah. it's a bit hard to see what he could see. Yeah. But it's that important point where we need to get that attention to detail, yeah. which having worked at a couple of places, close enough 
was good enough. Yeah. But okay. here with art, that's never the case. Yeah. The, the devices have to get into the shoe, and you have to imagine that it's going into your grandmother's shoe, your yeah. shoe, yeah. a family member's. So that little bit extra and that perfection. Yeah, it's really important. Needs to be there. That's amazing because you know you've you've been working really for seven years as an orthotist, yeah. so a lot of EVA yeah. stuff, and then you've come in with art and it's just thrown everything up in the air and it's like start again. It, it yeah. has, it's That's been amazing. like going back to uni <laughs> all of a sudden, but learning designs, like yeah. design features that you didn't have a name for, yeah. you just did it. Fantastic. But now it's going through wraps, flares, getting heel height differentials and heel pitch. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. fantastic. Terrific. Sam, thanks for joining us today. Really enjoyed the insight. We'll catch up again soon. Cheers. Cheers, thanks, mate. George.